Uh, my name is uh, Fred Fantini, and I'm a candidate for the Cambridge School Committee. I'll be seeking my 18th term uh, as, as a member of the school committee. Um, I'd like to just talk a little bit about our district improvement plan because I feel it's been uh, really uh, an exciting plan that we've put together over the last year that we'll be implementing this year. So our district strategic improvement plan was a plan that was generated uh, with our new superintendent, Kenneth Slim, who was really a, a quite capable uh, superintendent. So the plan was developed by, uh, you might say, a community-based community process, whereas the superintendent spent the entire year doing a listening tour of all of our schools, uh, meeting with stakeholders all throughout Cambridge, including parents, students, teachers, business people, all of the members of all of the unions. Um, he formed a, uh, a strategic planning committee that, that met for three times that uh, had input into it. He developed these very interesting envisioning exercises um, to, uh, work, uh, uh, to work throughout the community, um, just in a, way, in a way that I think most new superintendents should, trying to really understand the system, trying to understand its strengths and its weaknesses, and trying to put together a plan that will be successful for Cambridge children. And so, as most plans come from the top and go to the bottom, uh, a force down or onto a system. This plan is genuinely a community-based plan with community input and a superintendent that has really listened and has generated the values that he heard from the community. And so this district plan consists of, it's a three-year plan, by the way, and this district plan consists of five strategic objectives, uh, 21 uh, strategic initiatives, which in my mind are all action steps that are gonna lead to su the success of this plan, and then eight outcomes that the school committee and, and, and uh, community groups thought were really important, such as improving on our attendance rate and making sure children read at grade level at the third grade. Um, and so we look forward to uh, the beginning, the implementation of, of, of this process. Uh, it's important also to note that all school improvement plans that every school is required to do has now been aligned with the district improvement plan. So the system is, is geared to uh, move forward in this school year to implement the plan. The, the implementation of the plan is gonna be based upon action steps. Um, and I think that since it's a community-based plan, the action steps can be bold and be supported. And so, uh, and it's based upon our vision that every child uh, will receive rigorous and joyful learning that is culturally proficient and that personalizing support, supporting for every student. And that's, that's really exciting. Now you might ask how Fred Fantini fits into this. So, my experience is I've worked for the town of Arlington in a high-level administrative position uh, as deputy treasurer and tax collector for 35 years. That brings a lot of skills. I have a master's degree in accounting and finance, a bachelor's degree in accounting and in accounting from Bentley College, as well as a master's in management for Cambridge College. And as most people know, I, I practice being a school committee member by being very active in the community, by listening to our, our parents and students and teachers all the time. I feel they're the best source of information and they're really engaged and thoughtful in how they want to improve uh, the school for their children. So again, I really could use your number one vote on November 7th. Um, I wake up every day uh, in a continuous improvement mode, wondering how I can do something to improve the Cambridge Public Schools, and I really would honor your number one vote. Thank you.